Hello YouTubers, Hammy Tech, Hammy Technoid here. And today I'm going to go through this uh, new eBay acquisition I've got recently. It's a Pioneer cassette deck model CTS 410. And it is um, what I would say the low end of their high end uh, offering. It's a three head deck, good enough. And it has Dolby HX Pro. But beyond that, it doesn't really have a whole bunch of features. It doesn't even have a memory stop button. So, uh, but it does have something called Auto BLE. This little guy here, Super Auto BLE. And that is a computerized function that it senses the tape quality and tells, uh, tells the machine how to adjust it for best recording response. And through that process, it goes through the bias, the levels, and the equalization of the recording. So um, what I'm going to do here in this particular video is demonstrate that BLE function and show that the deck itself is fairly picky. It doesn't quite like every tape that's out there. And to show that, I've got this uh, old funky little Sony tape that is a low noise tape, but is really a low quality tape. It has a really low quality. Um, sure, if you have a good deck that can adjust um, all the parameters really, really vastly, you know, in a wide range, you might be able to get it sound good to sound good. Um, I I can get it to sound good on the Sony TCK81, but it it uh, has a lot of range and variation on calibration points. But this deck here relies on its computer settings, and what I'm going to show you is this this cheapy low quality tape um, how it reacts in this uh, machine that uh, calibrates itself. Okay, and please mind my camera work. I'm doing this with one hand. All right, and in it goes. And oh, what I wanted to show you is this is one of those decks that doesn't do anything until it's got a tape in it. it doesn't doesn't do any functions. You can't rewind it. You can't put it into play. You can't put it into pause. Anything like that. It's got to have a tape in it. So now, now I'm going to put a tape in it. Put the tape. Okay. And now all of a sudden I can uh, I can rewind and the counter goes and so on and so forth. So yeah, to do the auto BLE, you just press this auto BLE function here and then it uh, goes into, I'm gonna reset the counter. Boom. And then it goes into auto BLE. Now watch the deck, it says start. And that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to say start, okay. And it's doing something with the tape now with this computer. And guess what? Boom, error error so this tape is too funky for this machine to calibrate okay so i think that's kind of funny and uh, i'm gonna reset the counter again and now i've got this this is the funky tape and now i've got this other tape that is a mass produced tape from a distributor okay and it is chromium dioxide i'll give it that but it is a mass produced tape it's just you know chromium dioxide tape and you would think like okay well what's this got this is it okay let the machine decide i'm going to put it in there okay and put it to the auto ble and this is where it gets telling start <gasps> bias it's checking the bias <gasps> level it's doing the level <gasps> eq it's doing the eq Boom! The tape is tuned. This tape, that is a mass-produced distributor tape, is better than a Sony <laughs> low noise tape. Okay, well, you know, I kind of expected it, but to have a tape that the machine won't even calibrate to and calls it an error, and this is obviously a production run tape. That's just funny to me, that's amusing. But yeah, I just wanted to show you this auto BLE and I've, I've taken it apart. You know, one of the things I do with my eBay acquisitions is I take them apart and I go through and I look and see what's what. And it looks like this one might have been made in uh, November of 96. Eh, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, it's a two motor, three head deck. And you see in there, there's three head. Okay. Uh, uh, 
erase, record, and play. And this is a, you know, it's a low-end, high-end deck. Everything um, except the frame is plastic. So it's pretty, pretty cheap. Anyway, uh, so this is the end of this video. I just wanted to uh, show a quick run through of the BLE, the auto BLE. And further down the line, I'll hook it up into a system and do some recording checks, okay? So, so long for now and see you later.